purple. Yeah, just put everything you don't want. I need this shell. Okay, you keep what you want and everything you don't want, just put it in the box, okay? Not this one. Okay. So, I look terrible. I didn't go in today because obviously, like I said, I've been heavily exposed at this point. Um, and <clears throat> I just took the meetings from home and I'm doing some work on my laptop right now. Um, but what Kaden is doing is uh, cleaning out all of the toys that he doesn't want. Every time we get gifts, we make him clean out his toys. And as you can tell by the sheer volume of gifts he has, there's no way. We gotta clean it out. We gotta reorganize toys, everything. Yes. I don't know. Maybe it's a card. It's a sticker. Anyways, he's getting rid of all the little stuff that he doesn't need or want. Um, and honestly, when Christmas comes and he opens all his gifts, we're not gonna let him actually open up all the toys and play with them. We usually let him have a couple of his favorites and the rest of it goes into storage. And then things get slowly taken out of storage um, as time goes on, like as the year goes on. Sometimes, like for example, my best, yeah. That's fine. You don't have to ask me. It's your, it's up to you, sweetie. Whatever you don't want to play with anymore, you can put in the shed. So, for example, my best friend, Kelly. Hi, Kelly, if you're watching. She gave Caden a Lightning McQueen toy last year. Last year, he had no interest in it because he did not know Mama. what Lightning McQueen was. He never watched the, the show, movie, nothing. Mama, Wasn't interested. Wonders, wonders, so we put it into the storage. Um, and then now he's like obsessed with Lightning McQueen, only wants Lightning McQueen, only watches Lightning McQueen, obsessed. So when I took that out of the shed, he was so excited and now he's obsessed with the toy. He brings it everywhere. When we go to somebody else's house, he asks if he could bring his Lightning McQueen car. Um, so that's kind of what I mean. Like a toy isn't impactful if he's not interested in it. Um, so what we do is if I know he's not interested in it, I'll put it away. And then the opportunity will come when he's interested in it. And then it gives me an opportunity to get him the toy um, throughout the year. And he gets really excited about it. So... That's what I do. And then there's stuff that he just straight up doesn't like, has zero interest in whatsoever. Um, like dinosaurs and dinosaur toys. And he gets a lot of those. And what we do is we we put that away as well. We don't there's no point in him opening a toy he doesn't isn't gonna play with, it's just a waste. So we end up giving it away. Um Yeah, you can put away your dinosaurs, that's fine. Yeah, but he's just like, there's no point in letting him open a toy that he's not going to play with. It's a total waste. Um, and so we're going to go... Why don't you Why don't you leave the box? Leave the box. Leave the box. Why don't you... Why don't you leave the box and go inside with your Halloween bucket and take the dinosaurs out with your Halloween bucket? Anyways, so that's the thought process behind it. <sighs> Anyways, so usually with the toys that we don't let him open because he doesn't like or he isn't interested in, we'll either re-gift or we'll give it away, donate, whatever. And so many like toy drives and stuff during the holidays. So yeah, we'll do that. Totally forgot to film before I ate, but this is all that's left. Uh, pot stickers. No, I don't need it. Thank you. I genuinely hate going out during the holidays and i genuinely hate crowded places like it makes me so angry is it just me am i am i like is there something wrong with me but like the fact that right now this parking lot is full and there's no parking and like people are waiting and like people are really aggressive like it pisses me off just why I guess is my question. And then I just want to leave and then just say like, fuck it. Like I really don't care to be here. Yeah. I literally came here only for this cause Kaden really wanted it. So, so I got a couple things to make the 
Christmas magic happen, if you know what I mean. But I'm not, I can't show you guys just in case, he, um, you know, he comes across my videos one day. I don't want my videos, my vlogs to ruin that for him. But you guys will see it all come together on um, Christmas vlogs. In the Christmas vlogs. Anyways, I'm really excited. I'm like, uh, last year, the whole snow footprints thing totally failed. He woke up and he looked at the floor. He's like, is that flower, mama? And I'm like, no, that's snow from Santa's boots. He's like, it's flower. I'm like, what three-year-old is that logical? Like, anyways. I want the gates. Well, what are you doing? So, he always knows when the kids ah. are on. If this ain't my kid, he's got he's got social media influenza running through his blood. Anyway, so I've been working on my computer all day, and oh, I'm feeling so exhausted. I pretty much haven't gotten up from this couch, um, except when I left for those errands. I'm really excited to show you guys what I have planned for him to make the Christmas magic happen. Um, we're gonna bake cookies for Santa. Right, Kaden? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna bake cookies for Santa. Chocolate chip cookies? Um, just cookies. No chocolate chip cookies. No chocolate chip cookies? Why? Well, we're chocolate chip cookies. Well, you can have some too. All of a sudden, it changes things. But anyways, he's not gonna have a very enriched next couple of or next couple of days uh, or the whole next week because I'm working and like my dad doesn't want to stay all day here if I'm home but then I'm just working he's been actually pretty good he's been playing with his toys all day he just um started watching his iPad not too long ago but I always feel guilty when I'm sitting here like and he's watching his iPad and we're doing nothing but sometimes we just need to do nothing um now, with that being said, on to a little more heavier of a topic. The lawyer replied, and obviously, they can't really dictate what I do, but um, he gave me a pretty good idea. He and she, there's two of them, actually. And they're so sweet. They watched the whole video, and the video was 45 minutes long. They watched the whole video in order to give me their opinion, and, like, they're not charging me a thing. So they're like, we need to find a better way to, to say what you said. And he says, although I did, like, although he was like, although I did tell the truth, and he was like, although I did do absolutely believe that you were telling 100% of the truth and nothing but the truth, and I, like, believe you and everything, he was just like, we can't just assume that he's going to be, like, nice about it and don't care and just like doesn't sue right so there's just a obviously financial risk with it and it doesn't matter if i'm telling the truth or not in the court of law it's basically gonna be he said she said and at that point it's really anybody's game unless i can truly truly prove like i have recorded conversations or videos and all that kind of stuff which i don't have recorded videos and conversations i have photos and like other evidence right like I can, I can prove the financial claims that i'm making um and i can prove like some of the other things with photos um but i don't have videos or recorded uh, audio conversation like audio recordings of our conversations and so majority of it is going to be just he said she said type of thing and um although my intent is not malicious there's just that risk so he actually gave me a really good idea um the wheels are turning in my head and i have kind of thought about it not too much just because i've been busy but i have uh, thought about how can we phrase this in a way where there won't be 
anything for him to be able to sue on. And he actually, the lawyer uh, gave me some really good ideas and both of them said like, hey, think about it, sit on it. Um, and if you re-record the video, um, send it to us. We'll be happy to review it before you post anything. So they're so nice, so thankful because that could have easily cost hundreds of dollars, if not thousands, you know? Cause they spent at least an hour watching the damn thing and like, you know, talking to me. Um, but yeah, so like, he okay, so here's, originally the video was, this is what I went through. This is all the things that he said. This is all the things that his parents said to me. These are all the things I was told. I was told to do this, blah, blah, blah. I was not allowed to do this, not allowed to do that, blah, 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 blah. So I'm making all those claims like that. So instead, instead, I'm going to... Oh, shoot, I'm getting a call. Hold on. So I was saying, as I was saying, the other way that I'm going to phrase it instead, oh, where they basically made the suggestion of don't make it oh. your personal story. Make it where you're talking about it, but not from a personal standpoint. So that's what I'm going to do. So for example, originally, if I was going to say, um, just for example, um, I was not allowed to go out. Right? Very general statement, whatever. Instead, you would say something like... Um, here are a couple of examples of red flags in relationships that could, you know, potentially signal an, an abusive relationship. The abuser can, and then list all the bullet points, you know, exert lots of control, whether that be over not being able to see your friends, isolating you from your family, you know, controlling every aspect of your life, financially, who you talk to, where you live, what you did. Um, those are all examples of what abusers could possibly do and examples of red flags in a relationship. So you see how like you turned it from, he did this, he did that, he did this, I was told this, I endured this, I went through that, to, hey, general, let's talk about abuse as just like a blanket statement and here are some possible examples of what red flags could look like. So I thought that that was actually good advice. And I actually feel very at peace with that. Um, I originally, initially when they said, you know, honestly, like, I don't think it's worth to post. I felt like my heart kind of sank. But after they kind of gave me the suggestion and I thought about it, I was like, you know, that's a great idea because in a way it still gives me a place to speak up and speak out. Um, but it does come from a more like general place. I still get to speak up about abuse. I still get to, you know, speak up and advocate and create conversations and all that kind of stuff regarding abusive relationships, but not make it my personal story. I mean, I really wish that I could make it my personal story, but it's not going to be my personal story. So yeah, when you guys watch the video, um, just keep that in mind as that's how I'm reworking the video. I'm not going to be talking about it. My personal experience, personal story, it's going to be much more generalized, but it does accomplish what I said I was going to accomplish, right? Like it accomplishes me potentially helping someone else. And because it does accomplish what I originally wanted to accomplish and my goal, I am at peace with it. Like I don't feel like I necessarily have to share my story and everything directly. I still get to talk about it and still accomplish what I said to accomplish. So I'm really at peace with it. I'm actually really happy about that. Um, and it also mitigates the risk of getting sued, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, I feel happy about that. Um, but now it's just like, I have to rework a whole new script. I have to obviously refilm, re-edit, all that kind of stuff, which I probably won't do until after the holidays are over because Caden's home all week. 
next week um, from school and I just won't have that kind of time to do something like that. So, yeah. This is what happens when you're home all day and he's bored out of his mind. He climbs on you. Anyways, um, regarding the whole COVID situation though, we all feel fine. Well, ah, we're all, we're still negative and we have no symptoms at all and are feeling great. So I think we might. Ah, oh, that was my back. Kaden, not funny, not funny. That really, really, really hurt me. Mama's gonna have to go to the hospital. That was my spine, dude. Okay, let's not do that again, please. It very, very hurt my back. Okay. Anyways, so, um, I think we're going to be fine. It's, what, day two since exposure, though? It could be incubating. I don't know. We don't know. Dude. <sighs> Someone help me. What are you doing? You know, I asked you to keep your hands and feet to yourself. You're not going to get a star today for that. You understand that? So let's please listen the first time and keep your hands and feet to yourself. That's two stars. If you lose two stars, what happens? You're not getting a hole punch. You got it? Okay, so please take your feet off of me and don't kick me again. Okay, can we stop doing that? If you stop doing that, I'll stop tickling you. Is that a deal? No. No? <laughs> hey, 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 we're hitting again. That hurts. And you have a booger, dude. Well, what's that noise shaking? I think it's this. So, Kapuya. Hall His first Canada goose jacket <laughs> that, it, that looks, it looks good, it looks really fitted Like, yeah. like does it feel tight? Because it looks just a tad bit tight No? No? It's like so fitted, it's like hugging you Alright, well